Hey guys, this is Exodus Gear, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up CUDA Miner to mine Litecoins. Uh, for some of you who don't know what CUDA Miner is, CUDA Miner is actually designed to work better with NVIDIA cards. I know some people use their uh, CG Miner, and they have NVIDIA cards. Well, if you use CUDA, it will actually get you a slightly better hash rate. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this started real quick. I guess for the people who are freshly new to this, first thing that you're going to want to do, of course, is go to mine hyphen litecoin.com you're going to want to register for the site after you're done registering you're going to want to go to the left hand side tab over here where it says getting started it'll bring you to this page on this page right here what you're going to want to do first off is download your wallet client now depending on what system you have uh, Windows Mac or Linux all three of them are up here just go ahead and download it once it's done downloading uh, go ahead and let it run so that it updates and then the update I want to say it will maybe take about an hour or so but it shouldn't take too long um, let's see here next thing that you want to do of course is go ahead and start registering your worker if you don't have one already and you can do that easily by going to your account settings on the left hand side and going to minor configuration and right down here, we'll go ahead and do an example real quick. We'll make a X3. Password will still be the same. And if you're worried about people using your worker name and your password, um, don't really worry about that. If they were to use your worker name and password, all they would really be doing is mining Litecoin for you. So the only username and password that you have to worry about would be the one for the site. So don't give that out to anyone. Um, you know, if, if people want to use this one, let them. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and actually, let's go to the server details and status. Basically, depending on what country you're in, you can always come here and find the different links to these servers. We've got uh, one for Asia, one for Europe, and one for America. Uh, I will be using the American server, so depending on what server you're using you can always come in here and swap it out now let's go ahead and go back to getting started again please all right now that you've actually got everything set up here I know some of you are looking and saying well CUDA miner isn't up here uh, I will actually go ahead and post the link to CUDA miner in the YouTube information so just go and scroll down look at the YouTube information and the link will be there for you once you have downloaded CUDA Miner and extracted it to whatever folder it is you wanted to extract it to. For those folks using Windows, the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually hit Alt, go to Tools, go to Folder Options, go to View, and you're going to want to make sure that Hide Extensions for Known File Types is unchecked. And basically, what that's going to do is it's going to let you create the little bat files. If you were to go in and create a new text document, and it doesn't matter what we name it right now, but if we were to create a new text document and we were to put, you know, kudaminer.exe and all the other information in, and then we wanted to save it, well, if we didn't have that check, it would only save as a text file right here, a txt file. But by checking that, basically when you go to save now, what you can do is erase the txt at the end, put in bat, and it'll actually save it as a bat file. And there we go. Alright, so that's, that's what that does. Now let's go ahead and get into the, what you actually need to put in here real quick <clears throat> to get everything running. Let me go ahead and open up mine. Now I have this one set up currently. It's set up at the very beginning. It starts with kudaminer.exe space hyphen lowercase o stratum plus tcp bracket forward slash floor slash america dot mine hyphen litecoin dot com and then another bracket separator right here. You're going to want to put port 80 for your port then another space, another hyphen, 
an uppercase O, and this is going to be for the operator more or less, which will be your worker username, which, let me go back to this real quick. Everybody has, of course, a different worker username, but it's going to be basically this right here, plus the period, and then whatever worker name you might have typed in into the box. Oh, let me go back. Then, of course, once you're done putting your username in, you're going to put another little separator in, and you're going to put your password in, which, if we remember correctly, was just X. Very simple. Now, the way that I'm doing mine is I'm going to let it set up to run automatically. And the reason for that is because I have a really crappy NVIDIA card. So if I were to even try and pump out any kind of hash rate right now, it would start more or less fighting with the recorder, and I won't be able to record. But we will go ahead and launch it real quick just to go and show everybody that it does work. Oh, wrong button there. There we go. Alright, now if you notice, like I said, mine's actually doing the auto-tuning. If you would like to do more of, um, I guess, specific tuning or a specific mining, uh, there is a little bit of information in the README. If uh, you do happen to get any kind of errors or if you need any kind of help with the commands or if you get lost or anything, feel free to go ahead and drop in to we mine, or the, uh, the mine litecoin.com site. And over here on the left hand side again, there is a live web chat where um, you know, people are more than happy to go and help you out and get you set up. Let's see if we can check on this real quick, see what it says. Alright, so mine's running at 23 by 4. Now that is one thing, um, the intensity does work slightly differently from CUDA minor to CG minor and or vice versa. With uh, CG minor you would put in, you know, intensity anywhere between, I want to say, 1 to 18, while with CUDA minor, it's slightly different. It's actually a, it, it kind of looks like a mathematical problem, where it's, you know, 11 by 3, or 23 by 4, or 4 by 8, or whatever else. But, oh, look at that, we've got uh, too little accepted right away, which, that's that's kind of odd, I've never really had that happen, considering this, this graphic card sucks so bad. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, guys, if, uh, if you get stuck on anything, drop by the chat. You know, let us know. We'll try and help you out as much as we can. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody out there. And uh, enjoy.